Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're actually going to um, do a Backs to Basics video. And we're going to cover actually um, the difference between using all Elemental Grasta versus using a Pain Poison Elemental Grasta combination. Now, if you've been following my channel and the way I've been playing, uh, most of my original uh, characters with Grasta have a, either a 20, 20, 30 uh, all elemental Grasta, or at some times uh, we had a, a critical um, increase Grasta as well, so a 20, 30, and then a crit boost. But I've actually seen some Reddit uh, you know, conversations as well as on uh, the Japanese website saying that you should be using a mix of pain, poison, and um, elemental Grasta on the people who do benefit most from the uh, pain or poison type moves. And so, you know with my original uh, waifu, Suzette, she does have Demonic Thrust, which applies pain and poison. And of course, her signature move, um, Dragon Assault, does increase damage based on pain or poison status. Now bear in mind that instead of using 20, 20, 30, we're actually going to go with e, um, the 30% Elemental Grasta, as well as the uh, boosted uh, pain Grasta, and finally the second tier um, poison Grasta. So my understanding is that instead of a um, you know tier one being a 10%, uh, tier two being a 20%, and tier three being a 30% boost for those uh, pain or poison status Grasta, I think that's 20, 30, and 40. So you actually get a much uh, bigger boost on those than using just plain elemental Grasta. Now the downside, of course, um, with that is that with uh, clearing mobs just using them on a single turn, you're actually going to lose some damage from the Dragon Salt AoE. So keep that in mind when you are exploring things like Garalia or some of the tougher areas in the game. But what we want to know really is that uh, what's the actual damage difference, if any, of using that versus my OG 2020-30. Uh, so in this particular battle, I've still left the original uh, uh, configuration of 2020-30 on. And we're going to start with Acute Inciting, High Wind Booster, Combination Wins, and then Demonic Thrust, followed by all our right moves, uh, right sided spam moves, Miracle Punch, you know, Heavenly Dance, as well as the uh, Dragon Assault over and over again. So if you watch the last couple of moves of Dragon Assault, um, know that they did do a, about a million damage crit, but let's be honest, crits don't happen all the time unless you're using Mianfa guaranteeing crits every turn. So keep that in mind that it, the last move we saw in the AF was a 500k damage, roughly, for Suzette. So we're gonna have to pay the 300k uh, git to remove all these Grasta. Now I know in a more recent Japanese update, um, removing or rescinding Grasta is now free, but for now we have to pay 300k and if you're running low on um, git, make sure you run the Antiquity uh, Garylean Dungeon because they drop lots of gold lumps that can be sold for tons and tons of git. So we're gonna start with the Power of Gale which is the uh, tier 3 30% elemental. We're going to use the Power of Agony, which is a tier 3 um, pain, and we're going to use a lower level um, poison version uh, tier 2. Now bear in mind also, tier 3 Grasta all require Jadeites of attack as well as multi hundreds of uh, attack fragments. So if you're a little bit low on uh, Jadeites or attack fragments, I would recommend using just tier 2, tier 2, and tier 2. Um, you'll have a little bit less benefit, but still, at the end of the day, you'll be able to do a significant amount of damage. So, uh, round two with three. We're going to uh, use the same amount of moves in the same order just to uh, have some consistency in this little experiment of ours. So let's go. Acute Inciting, High Wind, Culmination, and Demonic Thrust. So let's watch the damage uh, pile on. So we can see that um, hers is already 500k and there's still another round to go. No crit, 700k. So instead of having just a 500k damage on the last hit, of the um, AF, and th keep in mind, this is only a uh, first turn AF, no zone, no nothing. We already see a 700k damage versus a 500k damage roughly. That's almost a 40% increase, guys. So um, in conclusion, if you haven't already, and I was actually really slow to do this, so uh, you know, I just didn't really feel the need to do so since I was beating the game pretty handily with a strong uh, win DPS team. I would highly recommend uh, switching them to uh, you know, one Elemental Grasta, and then one Pain, and then one Poison. Now, for any other 5-star character that can benefit from that, you should also try changing it up as well. Um, with Nagi, for example, obviously with um, her Nidaria Ed applying Pain, you can use a Pain Grasta. Um, for Serene as well, uh, she can guarantee a Pain uh, 
you know, status as well as increased damage with pain. So you should definitely put that on her. And eventually, you should have a team that can apply both pain and poison guaranteed. Remember that Falmina, for example, can apply both pain and poison. So she would be a prime candidate for using these kind of uh, top tier pain, poison, Grasta, and in conjunction with uh, Suzette, Wreck, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.